بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر سٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے وی ویل سٹار میجر آف سینٹر ٹینڈنسی میجر آف سینٹر ٹینڈنسی مینز میجر دی سینٹر ویلیو آف دی ڈیٹا دیر آر تھری ٹائپس آف میجر آف سینٹر ٹینڈنسیز نمبر فرس مین میڈین اینڈ موڈ ایکس بار ایکس ٹیل ایکس کیپ اس ایز دا نوٹیشن یوز فار مین میڈین موڈ First I will explain the definition and formula of the group and ungrouped data. After the formula I will solve example of the ungrouped data. After ungrouped data we will apply the formula of the group data for the first example of the air pollution of the 50 observations. So what is the mean? mean is a single representative central value single value representative value and central value if you calculate the mean of the 10 observations 20 observations 50 observations a small number of observations or large number of observations you will obtain a single value this single value is the representative value of all data and lies at the center of the data and central means depend or represent all the data not center in center we select the only center value and central means select from all the values representative of the all data like central idea it is given by for ungrouped data this is the formula of the ungrouped data means represent by x bar sum of the values I indicate more than one values n observation divided by total number of observations n where xi is the given value summation xi is the sum of all values n is the total number of observations so this is an example of the ungrouped data calculate the mean of given six observations mean is equal to add all values 4 plus 5 plus 7 plus 3 plus 9 plus 8 divided by total number of observations 6 you will obtain mean the mean of given data is 6 and for group data so this is the formula of the mean sum of the product of the frequency and midpoint in group data xi represents the midpoint because midpoint is a representative value of the group divided by sum of frequency same as equal to n so where xi is the midpoint fi is the corresponding class frequency sum fi xi is the sum of the product of the corresponding class frequency and midpoint first we will multiply the midpoint with frequency and then sum of all values summation fi is the total number of observations we will use this in group data now second method median Median divide the data into two equal parts. This is the definition of the median. For ungrouped data, for example, find median of this data. There are five observations. First, we arrange the data in ascending or descending order and select the middle value. In ascending or descending order, first write the two, three, four, five, six, and then select the middle value, center value. So median is the 4. Second example, find median of 6 observation. There is no center value. First arrange the data in ascending or descending order, same as this, and select two middle values and calculate the mean of both values. Arrange the data in ascending or descending order, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and select two values and calculate the mean of two values, 4.5. So median of 6 observation is the 4.5 and this is the formula of the group data for median L lower class boundary of the median class the important word is the median class H size of class interval you have already calculated for group data in first example size is the 10 F frequency of median class 
n total number of observations cf is the cumulative frequency of the previous class of the median class the important thing is the median class first we will find the median class then you can select the l f and cf we will perform this procedure in group data now third method mode definition of, of mode is most repeated or frequent value is called mode for ungrouped data there are three examples first example you have 2 4 3 6 5 2 6 2 2 occurs three time highest number of observation is 2 2 occur three times most repeated value is 2 mode is 2 in second example 2 occur three time and 6 also occur same number of time both are same so most repeated value are 2 and 6 both so there are two more 2 and 6 in third example there is no repeated value all the values occur only one time but there is no mode now this is the formula for the group data x cap l lower class boundary of the model class h is the size of class interval fm frequency of model class f minus 1 frequency of previous class of model class f plus 1 frequency of the next class of the model class the most important thing is the model class first we will find the model class then you can find l fm f minus 1 f plus 1 i will explain in numerical so now we will use group data for the mean median and mode so this is the table of the first example you have already calculate or construct the table and you have plot the data with the help of three graphical methods histogram polygon and curve now we will do same data calculate the mean median and mode of the first data example number 1 you know there is the class interval of the first data frequency cumulative frequency class boundaries and midpoints now next column is the product of the frequency and midpoint you know that this is the requirement of the mean this is not a part of the frequency distribution table this is the requirement for the mean we will construct the columns according to the requirement this this class interval frequency cumulative frequency class boundaries and midpoint is the basic column required according to the method so for mean we required only frequency and midpoint we will use midpoint and frequencies product of frequency and midpoint multiply this frequency 4 by 16.5 will be 66 19 multiply by 26.5 will be 503.5 7 multiply by 36.5 you will obtain this and so on for all and then add all values you will obtain sum of the frequency and midpoint because this is the numerator term of the formula of the mean substitute this value here 1905 divided by total number of observations you will obtain 38.1 and the second last step of the definition of the statistics you know that according to the definition of the statistics first we collect the data organize the data present the data in the form of table and graph you have done this analyze the data and then write the conclusion the conclusion is the mean value this is the method first write the method of what air pollution of 50 large cities is 38.1 the procedure is same for all median and mode for conclusion first we write the name of the method then variable then observation and then result so after this we will calculate the median value median of the data i you know that first we require the median class so this is the median class how we calculate the median class how we find the median class this is the most important thing first we will find the median class 
then we can find the lower class boundary frequency and CF etc. So, in next slide median is equal to L plus H upon F in bracket N upon 2 minus CF. L is lower class boundary of median class, F frequency of median class, CF previous of the median class. So, how we find the median class according to definition of median? Median divides the data into two equal parts. Data 50 observation, two equal parts divided by two. 25th value will divide the data into two equal parts, represent the median class. 25th value will represent the median class. So, where lies the 25th value? From this table, you can observe where is 25th value. From 12 to 21, there are 4 observations. 22 to 31, there are 19. From 12 to 31, in CF, cumulative frequency, there are 23 observations from 12 to 31. So, after fourth value, fifth value lies in this group, six is also in this group, from fifth to twenty third value lies in this group. 32 to 41, seven observation, from 12 to third 41, 30 observation. So, after twenty third, twenty fourth value in this group, twenty fifth also in this group, twenty six, twenty seven, up to thirtieth value lies in this group. So, 25th value lies in this group. So, this class is the median class. So, we will select L lower class boundary of the median class 31.5 frequency of median class, previous cumulative frequency of the median class 23 and then substitute in formula we will obtain median. So, L lower class boundary 31.5, H size of class interval, frequency of median 7, n total number of observation 50 upon 2 minus cf of the previous of the median class. Calculate this bracket multiply by this and then add in 31.5 you will obtain 34.36. Conclusion is the same as mean the median of air pollution of 50 large cities is 34.36. <coughs> okay. Now, for mode, first we will find the model class. According to the definition, mode is the most repeated, most frequent value, highest number of observations represent the model class. <coughs> for this group, 22 to 31, there are 19 observations. Highest frequency indicate the model class, most repeated values. In this group only 4 values, in this group 7, highest number of observations lies between this 22 to 31. Most repeated values occur in this group, so this class is the model class, model group. We will select the lower class boundary of the model class 21.5, frequency of model class 19, previous is the 4, next is the 7, size is the 10, fix for all method. So, substitute here L lower class boundary 21.5, H is the 10 size of class interval, F frequency of model class 19, previous is the 4, F plus 1 next is the 7. Substitute the values, calculate the numerator term and denominator term, then simplify you will obtain 27.06. So, mode is 27.06. The conclusion is the mode of air pollution of 50 large cities is 27.06. Okay. So, we have done the mean, median and more three topics of the group data and ungrouped data. And now, the homework, calculate the mean, median and more of the second data example number 2 of the 60 observation of the air pollution you have already used this data in graph. Allah Hafiz.